As COVID numbers keep climbing, lawmakers along with the governor are still negotiating the action they need to take. And that action will need to happen during a special session, which is likely just days away. LAX 18's political reporter Carolina Buchek has more on how lawmakers are already setting the stage for what's to come. Because of the Supreme Court's decision, lawmakers and the governor need to work together to take COVID-19 actions. And the governor says that action is desperately needed right now. So that means a special session is coming and there's talk that it could happen as soon as next week. We've had ongoing conversations. Um, I'm not to a point where I can say there's a certain day that we've agreed to, but as, as soon as as possible. Governor Andy Bashir says the date isn't set yet, but this special session is coming and he wants lawmakers to give Kentucky the tools it needs to fight off this current surge of COVID-19. I'm going to seek all the tools that I can. Some of the tools the governor wants to see are masks in schools and additional NTI days so schools can temporarily go virtual instead of shutting down during COVID outbreaks. Legislative leaders say the governor has given them four pages of COVID priorities. Now, some of them both sides agree on, but some things are going to be debated more. So the governor says when they reach a consensus, he'll call the special session. And lawmakers look like they're already getting started. This week, they set meetings for committees to consider some COVID action. And they told the Kentucky Educational TV Network that these meetings are setting up the special session. We're getting the feedback that we need to and gathering the data and the information that we need to in order to be able to go in and have that session. So although there's no exact date set yet, work is underway. And the governor has said he wants to have this session before this state of emergency, the one he signed in March of 2020, expires on September 10th. In Frankfurt, Carolina Butrek, LX18 News.